Good morning from Seoul. I am trying to find a hiking trail to Buram San, Buram Mountain. And it's just the most random place. I have no idea what this area is. It looks really old and run down. But I found a sign which I assume means the trail, the hiking trail. So I will follow and see. But I have no idea. I've never tried this particular trail. I don't know if I've actually been on Budamsan, but it connects to a mountain that I have previously hiked on several times, in fact, Suraksan. This is a really cool hike. So, I dragged myself out of my home this morning because this is my second week of six weeks on vacation and I've done nothing and energy's been low, motivation's been super low and it's been incredibly frustrating so I have to put a stop to that and just drag myself out of my home. So here I am. I think this will take me to the right place, I hope. And I really hope that this is the beginning of some good hikes and vacation. It's the last day of January today, 2024 of course, and the temperature is quite comfortable. It's going to be up to 8 degrees today. It doesn't feel like real winter anyway. okay so now i need to figure out which way do i need to go so i need to check my oh, oh i need to check my phone let's have a look oh i can just see a crow there it is it's looking at me looking at my camera so beautiful and young <laughs> It's so cute. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. But that crow can see me. Nice. Okay. So, anyway. I need to check the map. So, I'm going... Okay, I'm gonna follow... Oh, okay, looks right. Okay, I'm gonna follow that green line and see where I end up. Okie dokie. Alright, so... I have to check on my phone. I'm on the right trail. For a moment at the start I was thinking it's going to be one of those days where I just end up on a wild goose chase not knowing where I am but it looks looks okay yeah that place over there looks really run down it's very old and of course almost February and there's just no sign of any green in the forest nice and easy. Pretty glad about that. I fractured my ribs about almost two months ago. It's still feeling slight discomfort but doesn't stop me walking. That's a good thing. Oh I hear an interesting bird. I forgot. I never remember the name but I don't usually hear that bird so much in winter. Um, but also, lots of crows here too. Those crows were very inquisitive before. wonder if I'm alone on this hike today. I don't see anybody on the trail. I kind of like that, nice and quiet. It was a working day in Seoul. So, you know, a lot of the hikers won't be here, obviously. Okay, so, so far easy peasy. Absolutely very easy.
Okay, first hiking sign. That's the subway station I came from. I took a bus ride to get close to the mountain. And this is the Sol Duled Gil Trail. Alright, let's go. I got a little bit lost, even just at the start, but that was not my fault because there were those signposts before, like one way was saying to backtrack to where I came from, and the other two directions were to do the, the kind of round trail at the bottom of the mountain, but there was no sign to actually say go up the mountain. Although reading the map, there was that trail, so I was really confused. How do I find that trail? Anyway, once I backtracked and checked my GPS, seems that this is the way I need to go. Um, nothing is quite so straightforward, but hopefully this is now the direction up the mountain. Okay, so there I am and I need to go to where my thumb is and then follow the trail to the left and keep going and I think, I don't know exactly, I'm just going to see, <laughs> I'm going to just have to take a lucky guess and think that this is the right way, seems logical enough but <sighs> I not know most perfect hiker out there. I often get it wrong. It doesn't look like a trail but it's kind of it's kind of cool though. It's kind of it's nice. <laughs> it's nice to go off trail as well. It would just be better if I wasn't dealing with food intolerance symptoms and, uh -oh, and caffeine sensitivity and also uh, noisy neighbors screaming and shouting at three o'clock in the morning yesterday. I could have done this hike with better sleep quality. It makes it harder. Soul Mountains always have pretty cool rocks. Quite rocky over there. Let's keep going, see where I end up. I just have to keep checking the map every now and again. Keep my eyes open for any hiking signs. Nice little incline over this way. going. Okay. have to use my left arm more than my right arm to grab onto things. Save my ribs from um, getting any more sore. If this isn't the right trail, then pretty cool, I'm making my own hiking course today. Wonder what I can see. 
along the way. Maybe some little birds. Maybe a deer or a chipmunk. Maybe a squirrel. Usually those are the kind of animals you can't see. Sometimes you might see a wild boar. And what else can we usually see? Well, magpies and crows are quite common. Well, that's pretty reassuring. Yeah, so there's the mountain, Budam San, and Chong San means the summit or the peak, of course. 2.1k? I reckon it'll be a piece of cake. Even if I am kind of out of practice. Some nice pretty pine trees. Looks very nice. Nice blue sky. Air quality could be a little bit better. It's about 130, which is not very good. Anyway, 2k to the top of the first mountain. Okay, so 55 minutes, 1.85 miles, not bad, and there's a sign over here, okay, so Budamsa, 28k, that way, which is a temple, well, I'm not going to go there, Tongsang, 1.3k, alright, well, that's not long. So far, it's a very easy incline. 
my legs and probably my lungs are out of practice so this is good That's where I came from. It's about 250 meters to the top. Not long. And we call this rock. What is it? Kabuk Valley. Kabuk means turtle. So to me, the rock looks like a turtle shell, obviously. Okay, okay, let's keep going. This is the part that I like when it's all rocky like this. Yeah, the city. And you can't see very well on the camera, but it's quite haze in the sky, but there are big mountains on the other side, most likely. Sand and maybe I guess Dolan Sand. Okay. Almost up the top. See the next mountain in the distance is Sulaksan, and that's where I'm heading first. I'm gonna go down all these stairs, spend a little time just chilling at the top. There was these lovely birds. Um, I saw the same birds last year on several mountains in Seoul, so it's good I packed some sunflower seeds and got to feed some in my hand, which is pretty awesome. Bit of a chilly breeze up here, but it's pretty good considering 